Yo, what's your host that don't boast, Mr. AC? Location, Kissimmee, Florida. Business, Skips Photography, can you see it? Legendary. Story that needs to be shared? Let's get it. First question I ask is, we're going to share their story on how they got started into their business. So, if you don't mind sharing your story. Wow. Well, first of all, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Um, when I hit December, it'll be 40 years that I've been in downtown. Um, and I got started by coming here out of college and getting a job at the newspaper. Uh, the Gazette, Osceola. It is now the Gazette. It used to be this week in Osceola County in 1978. Wow. Long time ago. And I was a, came as a reporter, photographer, and as the paper grew, uh, became full-time photographer and sports writer. Mm -hmm. And I did that for about two years and decided to go out on my own in December of 1979. And I've been doing it ever since, full time. Basically to leave the, the news, what was your inspiration? Well, it was an interesting one in that there wasn't any money to start with. <laughs> and number two, I thought by starting my own business that I could create Mona hours. And I thought that I could possibly not work weekends, which was the biggest joke of my life. Because for the last 40 years, all I've done is work Saturdays and Sundays. So I was a little misinformed, but it's okay. So was it working for the news? Is it is it one of those like extremely hectic? It was a lot of jobs that you had to do. Well, you have deadlines. I guess that was the hardest thing. But being a small newspaper back then. I sometimes had to write the stories, edit the stories, have them come out in type, paste them down, do the photography, do the half tones, and shoot the pages all in the same night on a Friday night football. So I might have, yeah, I might have the one man wrecking crew at the time. What were the main issues when you first started? Like, what were your struggles at first time? Actually, one of the first problems was the fact that I'd worked for the newspaper for almost two years and getting people to understand that I'm not the newspaper right. photographer anymore, I work for you guys. Right, right, right. That took several years because when I show up they think the newspaper was right. there. So that was one of the hurdles and probably secondly would be the fact that I was 24 years old and I looked like I was 16. Yeah. And some of my clients uh, would always ask me when my father was coming to <laughs> do the photo shoot, which uh, didn't sit very well with me. Right, and, uh, right, right. Yeah. I made them aware right away that right. I was capable at that age of doing the job. I honestly would probably dissuade them from doing it <laughs> yeah. and tell them to go into either a medical field or a law degree uh, yeah, and yeah. Don't, don't do this. This is... Uh, it's a rather changed field. Um, it can be done family-wise, but not, it's not easy. You're never going to make a lot of money. So you better enjoy your craft and then enjoy people. Otherwise, do something else. Because you're going to work a lot of hours, and you're going to work hours you don't want to work. And if you're married and you have kids, you have to balance everything. It's very difficult. So, so <laughs> you better have a wife that has a good job too. Right, yeah. The market of photography, especially in certain cities, depending on the city that you're in. That has a lot to do with it. Ge location, right? Geography does. Oh, okay. um, when I started my business, all I did was black and white. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. you know, very soon after that, I did my own color. I've been through it all. Right, right. Um, now we're in a digital age where there people, the perception is anybody can do it. It's right. not true necessarily, oh, right. but it's yeah. the perception and yeah. perception is everything. Yeah. So yeah. some of the things that I used to do, like did lots of weddings. I used mm -hmm. to do 70 to 90 weddings a year. Wow. Um, uh, that's a no-go now. 
yeah. in, as far as I'm concerned. Well, at my age, I'm not going to do it anyhow. But um, yeah. yeah, I used to do a lot of weddings and a lot of family portraits, and it's all changed. Yeah, so changed. different dynamic. Now. Different dynamic, different everything in this county. Everything's changed. Mm. So okay, so it's time for the youth, youth to come in and yeah, yeah, take yeah. over for us. Gotcha. Us old guys. <laughs> My future plans, yeah. <laughs> um, they don't extend very far out. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I, I would, I haven't ever said this really on tape or anything, but a couple more years, I'm done. Gotcha. That'll be 42 years, I'll mm -hmm. be the age of Social Security, and yeah. honestly, enough is enough. The young yeah. generation needs to come in and do their thing. So. Gotcha. What yeah, I'm at the end of my career, and I realize it. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, it's and okay. I'm good with it. Good, you're good. And so you have no regrets. You are like, grateful for what you've done. I'm grateful for the community. They've supported me for 40 years. Nice, nice. I've not made a lot of money, but I've made a good living. Right. Put kids through college. That's good. That's good. Um, That's so, nice. yeah, I'm, I'm content. Plan on uh, giving it like to selling the business off to anyone, like your kids, maybe? Or? Well, I had my older son work for me for about six years. He, uh, he went to Daytona Beach Photography School, which is one of the better ones in the state. I, I made him do that. Mm -hmm. So he worked for me for a while, and about a year and five months ago, got him an interview with the state of Florida for a photography job, and he got the job. Oh, you got the job. So I, you know, congratulate him. It's a get. Everything is better there than it is here. So I told him to walk out that door. Don't look back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, st I started by myself. I'll finish by myself. And so both my kids are in good shape. And that makes you feel good. So what I do with the business, I'm not quite sure yet. No. What was the uh, process in, in order to get like this building, this, this place, that thing? What was the process to even get it? Um, well, that's a whole interesting long story. <laughs> and the process, we won't go into that yeah, either. Okay. That was a little difficult, got you, got you. we got it done. Okay, cool. oh. that's good. Well, I appreciate your time. All right. Yo, Skip, thank you so much for all your information. Thank you for your effort, thank you for your time. Thank you for putting in 40 plus some odd years into being a photographer here in Kissimmee and Osceola County as a whole. You probably took my picture when I was in elementary, middle school, and high school. <laughs> Thank you very much, and I appreciate you. And everyone else, I'll see you next time.